Hi, so this is a six month review of looking back over the last half year at Chuk Chuk's learning how to learn skills. So as you know, learning how to learn looks at all of those skills we need to be good, effective, efficient learners. And if you remember when Chuk Chuk first arrived here, he wasn't such an effective learner. And one of the major problems we had in the beginning is just getting him to kind of like sit down, follow some instructions and like do the lessons with us. He might ignore our instructions or run away or not be very cooperative. So we began our first steps in this journey in the first week, really just having him follow some instructions to do a very simple task, meaning coming to the table to put a brick into the bucket and then get something he really, really likes to provide some motivation for him to start to listen and pay attention to what we wanted him to do. This has gone very well over the past six months and now it's obviously expanded out. We've been able to get him to uh, you know, follow many instructions. He's now able to, you know, sit for a long period of time. He's quite motivated during the sessions. And we've also been trying to focus on how we can get rid of those kind of token economies that we've been using. So you'll see in this video where uh, we're doing, a, we're trying to embed more fun into the activities that, so that the activity itself is enjoyable enough that he's willing to kind of work and do it with us. So you can see we're using a hammer in this video without any tokens and he's quite happy to go along with that. Also in the beginning, he wasn't really able to wait very well. When there was something he wanted, like he wouldn't wait, he would start to fuss and get upset. So this is another problem that we've been tackling in the early days. But he's really developed some good skills in waiting. I think if you remember, we started by teaching him a very simple task where we would give him a wait card and he would have to wait until we, you know, had him give it back to us. Uh, he learned that very, very quickly um, and could wait for short periods. So now he's really able to wait for quite long periods of time. We don't need to use the card anymore, we can just use a gesture. And he's also able to wait very nicely when we do lessons with him that require him to wait for us to finish the instruction. So you can see that he's able to sort of like, when we tell him to wait, he will not do anything. He'll wait for us to cue him to do, do the things. So this is really nice. It gives us a much better, tighter sort of instructional control in helping him to learn new information. Attending is also something we've really been trying to work on. I, his attention in the beginning was kind of fleeting and could be difficult to capture. And so we really wanted to work on him attending during the lessons. So one of the things we did with him is we taught him a task that when he wanted to, he needs to signal to us that he's ready to start the work. And he does that by orientating towards us and looking at the therapist. This means he constantly has to sort of regulate his attention so that when he's finished a task, he has to look back to us. When he wants to start a task, he'd look at us. So it, it requires a lot more eye contact and attending to what the teacher's doing. So this is one thing that we did teach him that went rather well, but we've also been working on, you know, the materials and the presentations of tasks to really facilitate better attending. So we may have tasks where the things are much further apart, where he has to really look and scan, or some of the programs where there's a much larger field of items that he needs to kind of look through and pick. Um, these are all ways that we facilitate him to pay more attention to us and also to the materials. So it's been a really good six months. Uh, we feel like he's learned a lot in learning how to learn and he's really sitting down and 
quite efficient in the learning process at this point. Uh, we've still got a lot more to do and he's still mostly in one-on-one -on -one sessions at this point. We'd love to see maybe a little bit of group as we go through the coming months um, and also just to refine uh, the more nuanced kinds of learning how to learn skills.